Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mass on Thursday, the 18th of June, 2020. It's week 11 of the church's year. And the intention for our Mass today is for Charles Sagayan. We're praying to for Christine Galindo, Kevin Crichton, Paul Gallagher, Maggie Kaleska's mum, Lena Vinayagum, Stephen Nightingale, Luke Mehmet, Rosa Beard, Carlos Duran, Noreen Steedman, the mother of Mary Palomares. And today is would have been the 80th birthday of Guy Ediri Manasinghe, so let's remember him too. And of course, all those who work in the, in the care sector. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. First reading today recalls some of the marvellous deeds of Elijah and Elisha. The Gospel contains the Our Father, the most widely used Christian prayer, summing up, summing up our basic attitudes towards God. So let's pause now and ask God's mercy. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. The prophet Elijah arose like a fire, his word flaring like a torch. It was he who brought famine on the people and who decimated them in his zeal. By the word of the Lord he shut up the heavens. He also three times brought down fire. How glorious you were in your miracles, Elijah. Has any one reason to boast as you have? Rousing a corpse from death, from shale by the word of the Most High. Dragging kings down to destruction and high dignitaries from their beds. Hearing reproof of Sinai and decrees of punishment on Horeb, anointing kings as avengers and prophets to succeed you, taken up in the whirlwind of fire in a chariot with fiery horses, designated in the prophecies of doom to allay God's wrath, wrath before the fury breaks, to turn the hearts of fathers towards their children and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Happy shall they be who see you, and those who have fallen asleep in love, for we too will have life. Elijah was shrouded in the whirlwind, and Elisha was filled with his spirit. Throughout his life no ruler could shake him, and no one could subdue him. No task was too hard for him, and even in death his body prophesied. In his lifetime, he performed wonders, and in death his works were marvellous. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the psalm. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice, and let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment his throne, justice and right. Rejoice, you just in the Lord. The fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. 
His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. Rejoice, you just in the Lord. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All people see his glory. Rejoice, you just in the Lord. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship him. Rejoice, you just in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, <clears throat> In your prayers do not bag babble as the pagans do, for they think that by using many words they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him, so you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we have forgiven those who are in debt to us. And do not put us to the test, but save us from the evil one. Yes, if you forgive others their failings, your heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your failings either. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew puts the Lord's Prayer right in the middle of the Sermon on the Mount, interrupting his long passage on doing good works in secret. The prayer begins with an invocation, and then it divides into two halves, each of three requests. The first three regarding God, the second three regarding Christian disciples. The three different petitions about God are really variants of the same prayer for the completion of God's law. And then we turn to human needs. First, to keep us fed, not just on bread, for the Hebrew word for bread is often used more widely for food in general. Second, that dangerous prayer for forgiveness on condition that we forgive others. A petition which must always be accompanied with searching our own consciousness for forgiveness of others. Finally, there are two complementary prayers, lead us into trials and deliver us from evil. As we say the familiar prayer today, can we pray it with full attention? I may have faith strong enough to move mountains, but if I have no love, I am nothing. With this in mind we pray, Lord, grant us your love. Lord grant us your love. Lord, sustain us as we build and grow towards you. Increase our faith as we work. Lord, grant us your love. We are assailed by doubts and weighed down by uncertainties. Release our hearts to journey towards you with hope. Lord, grant us your love. Love keeps no score of wrong and does not gloat over evil. Help us to delight in the truth and rejoice in your gifts to others. Lord, grant us your love. Confirm the pilgrim church in the faith of the apostles. Help us to encourage each other, sharing our gifts. Lord, grant us your love. Bring those who have died in your peace to that knowledge which fulfills faith and answers hope. Grant them the fullness of your love. Lord, grant us your love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let your people's cry come into your loving presence, Lord. Forgive them their sins, so that by your grace they may be devoted to your service and rest secure under your protecting hand. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let's pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here, provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and raise to you a hymn of glory and praise, O Lord, Father of infinite goodness. For by the word of your Son's Gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue and nation. And having filled her with life by the power of your Spirit, you never cease through her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom and shines bright as the sign of your faithfulness which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last for eternity. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all the church as one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most holy, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and, and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew our church by the light of the Gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis our Pope, Vincent our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with Saint Edward and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And Jesus taught us to call God our Father. And so now we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for being at Mass with me today. Good to, to see you and I hope that you're keeping well. Let me know if you have any prayer intentions you want me to mention. Tomorrow is the great feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, so I hope that I might see you then. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hope you have a lovely day today. Thank you. Bye-bye.